Welcome to farmclearingsales.com.au. Times are changing and we now are able to provide to agents an online platform for them to use with clearing sales. This can be online only or simulcast. Simulcast is a blend of online bids with on-site bids at a traditional clearing sale. So you won't have to be at a sale to be able to take part. If you haven't done it before, online bidding can be a bit daunting at first. Let, let, me, let me help you with the first steps. Bidder registration, bidder login, the auction process, and bidding techniques. Let's start with bidder registration. Importantly, you only have to do this once and you'll be able to bid on any online sales conducted using the Farm Clearing Sales platform. This does not register you for MGS auctions, Grays Online or Mannheim auctions. They have their own registration systems. This registration is for online bidding. If you are attending a sale, either traditional or simulcast, you need to register at the sale in the usual way. On the Farm Clearing Sales sale photo page, you will see the bidder registration link. Click on this. This opens the Interbid Farm Clearing Sales page where you will find the links to a practice auction and also the registration link. Click on register now. Read and accept the terms and conditions. Read the instructions on the registration page and complete the form. Please note the request to provide photo ID and then click register now. You will receive an email to say that we have received your registration application and once we've cited your photo ID, we'll be able to approve you as a bidder. Providing photo ID is a standard requirement to be a bidder at any rural clearing sale in Australia. If you don't have a current driver's license, please contact us. Verification and approval can take a little while, so please be patient. Contact us if you haven't been approved within 24 hours. Bidder registrations will close three or four hours prior to a sale closing time. So please register early. It's a once only process. Once you've been approved as a bidder, you'll receive a password that will allow you to log in as a bidder for the next sale and any subsequent sales. You must log in with your password each time you visit the auction page. The auction page is only available for viewing and submitting bids, usually for three days prior to the auction closing. The link to the auction page looks like this. It will take you to the auction page where you can log in. Just to the left of the hammers, the interbid auction hammers, click on bidder login. Enter your email address and the password you've been provided and click login. Your bidder number will be displayed. Any bids you place will be color coded the same color. Be sure to take a look at this help page for heaps of information. The auction process is in two parts. You will be able to bid during the two or three days prior to the auction closing. This is competitive bidding against other online bidders. When the auction closes at the advertised time, Lots will be closed consecutively, starting with lot one. The pre-bidding will see the price already close to what will be the final price. And as each lot closes, you're still able to place bids. And when a bid is placed, the countdown clock extends back to 10 seconds to provide opportunity for further bidding. Sometimes an auctioneer will control the closing in the normal manner. Now, bidding techniques. My bid is $480. Another bidder is leading now. I want to bid the next bid at $550. So I click on that amount on the bidding ladder. Bidding is a two-step process. To prevent accidental bidding, I'm asked to submit or quit. So I choose submit. And that registers my bid. I'm leading at $550. I decide to log out and shut the computer down. I come back the next day, go to the auction page, log in and find I'm not the leading bidder anymore. So I've decided I will place an automatic bid at $1,200 and let the system bid on my behalf. 
$1,200 is not on the bidding ladder, so I click on the higher bid. A new dialog box opens, and I'm asked to enter my maximum bid amount. I type in $1,200 and submit. The system has placed the next bid for me at $650 and is registering that I have set a bid limit of $1,200. That's great. Again, I leave the bidding. I return later to find the bidding has climbed to $1,200, but it's not my bid. And I have told the system to bid up to $1,200. This is exactly what can happen at a traditional sale. The system cannot bid any more for me under my present instructions. I've told it to go to $1,200, but someone else holds that bid. I have three choices. I can stop bidding, I can place a single bid, or I can enter a new maximum. I hit the $1,500 bar at the top and set the new maximum. The dialog box opens, asking me to confirm the amount. I hit submit to confirm and register the bid. Alternatively, once you gain confidence, you can double click the amount on the bidding ladder to set, confirm and submit, all in one operation. But there is a warning. Be certain the amount is correct. Bids cannot be withdrawn. So the system has entered the next bid for me at $1,250 and set my new bid limit at $1,500. Sometime later, I'm now leading the bidding at $1,450. Now I'm not. Again, the bid has landed on my maximum bid, but it's not my bid. What should I do? It could be sold for the amount that I was prepared to pay for it. Again, this is what can happen at a traditional sale. Maybe I'll wait until the auction commences closing at the advertised time. I'll watch the other lots close with some additional bidding. When it comes to lot 29, I'll put in the next bid at 1550. And if I get beaten, I miss out. It won't worry me. It was more than I wanted to pay. So while I just set maximums at $1,200 and then again at $1,500, 1550 can be considered to be my absolute maximum that I don't want to exceed. My recommendation is to decide what is your absolute maximum and set it as your auto bid, knowing that it won't get to that amount unless there are competitive bids against you. But if there is competitive bids, the system will bid on your behalf up to when you want to stop. This is the only option available for users with satellite broadband, as it's unlikely your internet will be quick enough to be able to participate in the live streaming as the auction lots close. That should be enough to get you started. So good luck and bid responsibly.